What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you day 8 of my 12 days of Christmas horror and today I'm going to be talking about a movie that is actually a remake to a movie that I already talked about earlier on in this series and that is Black Christmas or Black Xmas from the year 2006. Um, yeah, Black Christmas, this is another one that I did not watch until later in life, probably I want to say last year or the year before was the first time I ever actually watched that remake. Um, I remember when it was coming out when I was younger and things like that, but um, I don't know. I just what I don't think I really went to the theaters or anything back then to see horror movies. Um, it wasn't until probably 2007, I want to say, when I started actually going to the theater to see films. And um, a lot of the newer stuff that came out, I just really wasn't watching. I was more into just the older stuff that my parents would show me and that was about it. So uh, this is one that kind of went under my radar like a lot of other films and I just never really watched it, um, which of course I never watched the original either. Um, I knew that it was a remake but uh, I, you know, just not very familiar with either of the films until I got to be the age I am now pretty much. So, um, but Black Christmas, of course, is a loose remake to the 1974 film, and um, it's got the same basic idea. Uh, you have a sorority house with a bunch of girls who are there for winter break, and um, one day the a guy named Billy escapes from a mental uh, hospital, and he goes back to the sorority house because that's where he lived when he was a kid, and he ends up killing off the girl. So, um, it's kind of a similar story, but you get, the big thing about this movie is you get kind of more of a background on this character, Billy, where in the original film, you don't even know really who the killer is. It's very, very, uh, suspicious and a mystery, and that's kind of the creepy factor going on in that movie. Um, with this movie, though, I think they just take a different route, and honestly, a lot of people have issues with that, and they think that the backstory is kind of stupid and over the top and while I would agree with that I do kind of like the fact that they do go their own route in this movie where at the same time they keep the general story and they keep the names a lot of the names the same like you have the Claire character of course and then the Billy Agnes thing is kind of a nod to the original film as well so um honestly I think it's kind of cool and I think that's how remakes should be done where they add something new to the table, but at the same time, they stick to the roots. Um, those are my favorite type of remakes, because when it's a name-only remake, uh, like the, I don't know, the shitty Prom Night remake, I just see no point to it, because you made a whole new movie, basically, with the same title, but then at the same time, if you have a shot for shot remake, like Psycho 98 or something, that's also awful, because you're not adding anything new, so, um, the way this movie does it is actually perfect, in my opinion. Um, the backstory stuff with this Billy character is a little bit ridiculous and just um, out there, but at the same time, there's actually a few gross-out moments with it that I honestly appreciate, and I think it kind of just makes it a fun type of horror movie. Um, the atmosphere in this movie is still very Christmassy, and I believe I mentioned it in my review of the original film is this movie does it different than that one where the lights in this movie are just very flashy and there it uses a lot of like reds and greens and just the colorful type of lighting where in the original film you kind of have the atmosphere where you just have you know plain white lights like on my Christmas tree and um it's more of a dark uh I guess almost cozier feeling like it's very cold out and you just want to stay indoors kind of an eerie um Winter's Night type of vibe, if that makes any sense at all, where this one's a little more in your face with the holiday spirit and just a little more fun, I guess, with the decorations and things like that. So, um, I like it. I think it captures Christmas almost equally to the original, where at the same time it does it in its own, uh, sort of unique way. So, I think that's honestly pretty cool. Um, I also like how this movie has the house mother being played by the woman who played Phyllis in the original film. I forget what her actual name is as an actress, but um, I thought that was a pretty neat way to give another nod to the original. This movie, like I said, gives plenty of nods to the original movie, and I really appreciate that. Um, it's very, um, you know, kind of your typical early to late, I guess, later 2000s. This was from 2000. 
six, um, kind of your typical slasher of the time, but at the same time, I think it's more of a fun film than the original one is. As I've said before, I find that one to be just a little bit too slow at times and kind of loses my interest a little bit throughout the movie as opposed to this one where I feel like I could pop this one in a lot more often than the original. I feel like it has just more replay value for me personally, but I guess that just kind of depends on what you like and what you're feeling at the time. So, um, I do like it for that. Uh, my main issue really with this movie is the ending. Um, the very ending, you kind of end up in this hospital scene and I just felt like it was a little bit too much. I felt like it could have just ended at the house and that be a fine ending. Uh, when you get to the hospital, it just gets a little bit ridiculous and feels like it's going on for too long and they're just adding extra story for the sake of adding extra story and um, I'm always a little bit taken out of the film at that point. But Overall, honestly, I don't think this is a bad movie. I don't think it's a bad remake. I know a lot of people who love the original absolutely hate this movie and vice versa. For me, I honestly like them both for their own reasons. I think they're totally different movies, but with the same general idea. And to me, that's actually pretty cool. It's cool to have, uh, you know, an original and a remake, but have them capture different types of vibes because I feel like you don't always get that with movies in that way. So um, this film I would give, I would say probably a 7.5 out of 10. Um, that or an 8 honestly. I'm just going to go with a 7.5 because as I said it's kind of, it's not really anything special honestly. It's a typical remake, typical slasher of the 2000s time period and it really kind of feels that way but at the same time it's a fun movie so I'll give it a 7.5. Out of 10, thank you guys once again for joining me for day number 8 of my 12 days of Christmas 4, and I will see you for day number 9.